Lucas Moura has been given a very nice Winter Wildcards item and we are going to try this thing out today. Four star, four star on him, high medium wear crates, couple of traits but none that are really applicable but some really, really nice in-game stats. Now I've got to say, when I first saw this card I thought, yeah, looks like he could be a good camp but he looks like he could be an even better striker. So... I get the feeling I'm going to like this card because like I've said many times before, when I play 4-2-3-1, my cam isn't really a cam in like the traditional sense, he's more of a secondary striker. So I get the feeling this card could be well suited to my playstyle, so uh, happy to use him as a cam in this 4 2 3 one but as I say I wouldn't be surprised to see many people use him as just you know an out and out striker option. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault and there is a link in the description and if you use the code Kieran at checkout you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. If you do enjoy player reviews don't forget to check out my second channel as well link in the description there's already some winter wild cards videos on there. Anyway, let's bring up this Lucas card and let's have a look at some of the standout attributes. Um, obviously, the high, high acceleration is great as I slowly lose my voice, as is the high shot power and attack positioning. In regards to dribbling, elite agility, balance and in-game dribbling ratings as well, so that is fantastic to see. And his passing is... It's just okay, to be honest. Let's be honest, at this stage of the game for a cam, since he is coming out of packs as a cam, um, it's it, it's all right. Um, finally, then physicals, they look all right. High aggression hopefully helps out with the lack of strength, and hopefully that stamina can hold up rather well in game. It is very interesting to see him have such high jumping. I don't know if we'll feel you know the full benefit of that with this guy standing at five foot nine. So. What are we thinking? Chem Styles, let me quickly bring Footbin up. Gotta be honest, it's one of them where it depends on how you want to play him. If you want to use him as a cam, something like maybe Deadeye, Artist, even Maestro might be a really good option. But if you want to use him like I'm going to as a secondary striker, I feel like Marksman is the go-to. You make his shooting incredible, you make his physicals very nice, and you bring his dribbling up as well. And that, this card just looks incredible with Max Burn. Let's be honest, he does not need a pace boost in all reality. He really, really doesn't. But it's also worth mentioning, basic chem for this guy is also a very nice option too. These random plus fives across the board are actually class. And honestly, I actually think basic might be one of the best ones for him. I think you either go Maxman or base. What are we up against then? A pretty standard team. Couple of players off chem, but there is some good players in there. Actually, the more I look at it, that team's weird. There's like players in weird positions and I don't know what kind of formation change he's going to go for. Here we go then. Lucas' first contribution is a nice through ball to Ole who's going to do his best to keep Kimpembe off him. And it's a great start for Lucas who gets an assist with his first touch linking up nicely with the forward. Nice. Still going. Love to see that. Love to see that. Can we score off it? No. Half time in this one then, not much to discuss, just a nice 1-0 lead at the brick. De Christ. Oh, great bit of play. Oh, the angle is so tight. Martinelli finds Tierney, flicks the ball through for Lucas. Oh, what a tackle. Fair play. Chance, good bit of play. Oh, the left footed shot from Murray just had no power on it. Nice, Lucas. Good feet there to get the ball out to Martinelli. Oh, nice. What a, what a block from Lucas, who almost puts Ole through, but he's been fouled. Martinelli. That's a nice through ball, and Lucas will get on the end of it. And, oh, it's gone wide off the left foot. Saka. Nice. Oh, the link up was lovely, and it gives Lucas a nice sitter. Just an easy one to tap him. Um, and I think this guy's had enough. No? Oh, I thought he was just going to do taps. Oh, nice. Good intercept, and now there is a break on. There is a break on. But we want Lucas to be involved. We've got Lucas involved. Keepers moving about and it doesn't matter. Ball roll and pinged into the back of net to really wrap this game up. And there's full time. Nice 3-0 victory in at that one. Lucas on the score sheet a few times and a nice clean sheet as well for KT. How was Lucas on debut then? Pretty good. Um, feels very agile on the ball, as expected. Passing isn't anything too crazy, but feels good enough. And um, I'm big on his run making. That's the thing I'm liking so far the most about this guy. Okay, um, interesting team. Keepers off chem, but some good players. Strange. Here we go then. Saka. Bit of space for him. 
Does really well, actually. Finds Lucas. Good bit of space as well. Oh, he's hit the post, but the ball is put in the back of net eventually by fellow Brazilian Martinelli. Nice feet from Lucas. Good ball as well, but unfortunately it was to Cal Walker. Nice quick feet. Chance keepers off his line, but should have gone for the chip. Interesting. Good ball that from Lucas, to be fair. And maybe with a faster striker, we get through there. Go on, Lucas. Fight for the badge. Fight for the ball. Not going to lie, pretty disappointing first 45. We are going to make a change for the second half just because I want a more pacey striker up front. But um, yeah, 1-1 one, one at the break. That is uh, disappointing. Mane, straight involved. Lucas, oh, I mean, that was nowhere near it. There was more chance of that ball killing a cameraman than going in the back of the net. But I just saw the ball flick up and I thought, got to go for it. Time for a breakaway. Lucas, nice ball into Mane. Oh, Mane skips past his man, gets the shot away as well. And it's a good save from Courtois. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get the win in this one because... Uh, for the final few moments, my opponent was time-wasting, but it is what it is. If you need the rival win that much, you can have it, I guess. <laughs> really was disappointing to lose that one, though, because, uh, yeah, we definitely had our chances. We just did not take them. Lucas did not have the best of games, it has to be said. Game number three. Nice team. Plenty of SBC items in this one. Into Lucas. It's going to be up against Kimpemba here. It just flaws him. That's happened so often with Lucas. Lucas, that's a nice ball over the top. For Saka, he's going to do well to keep possession. Puts it, oh, I just needed a bit more power on that pass. I'd have shot normally if I wasn't doing a review there, but uh, I just wanted to see if I could get it back to the Brazilian. Oh, lots of space in behind there. Can we find the right ball? Yes, we can. Lucas with a chance with a left foot. He will take it as well. That's poor defending from the opposition, and that's 2-0. And that might be game over. Is he going to quit? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, he does. There we go. So, uh, yeah, nice 2-0 victory in that one. Okay, so time is up for Lucas in the club. But what did I make of this guy overall? Um, it's a good card, but I'll say straight away, I don't think he's worth to pick up at his current cost. Uh, let me just double-check his price. Let's find out how much I've lost. I paid 700 Whoa, he's gone up. Okay, that's pretty mad. He's gone up quite a bit, actually, so I'm going to somehow make some coins on him by the looks of things. But anyway, what's my verdict on this card? It's a nice item, but... I can't lie, I didn't enjoy it all that much, and I'll say this, and it sounds a bit weird, but I have reviewed uh, the Hazard just before him, and I actually think Hazard and this Lucas card are very, very similar, um, but Hazard's much better, and I feel like that's one of the reasons why Lucas didn't feel as good to me. So, yeah, straight away, if you, if you for whatever reason you're deciding between Eden Hazard and Lucas, I'd go with Hazard. But nonetheless, if you're looking for a Premier League, you know, cam... It depends what you want out of your cams, to be honest, because like I touched on at the start, and even after using him, I agree, he's not the best passer of the ball, but um, he is a very good dribbler, and he is very, very good at run making. But uh, yeah, positionally, I think you want to be using this guy as a striker, to be honest. I just think he's going to be more suited to that role after using him. I feel like he's got a good shot on him, and his dribbling and run making are very good, and they'll just suit that striker role more than the cam role. Anyway, let's break things down. Pace, I liked about him. Obviously, high acceleration, quick off the mark. Love that. Really, really do. I've said it numerous times already. I think his run-making and general positioning is the best thing about this card. He was constantly making good attacking runs for me, and that made it you know, pretty easy to create chances with him. So, very happy with that area of his game. His shot power feels really, really good, and the guy can definitely score goals. So, uh, yeah, like that quite a bit. Will say, though, his left foot felt nowhere near as good as his right foot in front of goal, which was a, a bit of a shame, especially considering he does have the four-star weak foot. Passing was it was good for, for what he is. Um, obviously, he isn't a master distributor by any means, but he set up some good chances, which was pleasing, and uh, linked up well with players around him. So that was obviously really, really nice, and obviously he will do a good job in a wide camera role as well. Dribbling was great. I have no issues with that whatsoever, but similarly to uh, Hazard, he's very, very weak, and even though Lucas does have a lot of aggression, he was still just very easily uh, bullied off the ball, 
and that was one of the things that I didn't like about him. So if you're a good dribbler, you're going to want you're going to want to use the dribbling stats to the best of your ability to avoid would-be defenders to have success with this card. But all in all, I think it's a good item, as I say. But in terms of Premier League cams, I do think there are better ones available. And an item that is actually very very similar to Luis Lucas Mora is. Informane, the central one, and if I'm picking between Informane, who by the way is like 370k, versus this Lucas, who by the way is uh, much more expensive than that, I'm gonna go with Mane if I'm being honest. I do believe he is the better card in game. I know the stats don't actually suggest that. Lucas on his card actually has better pace, shooting, and dribbling. But in-game, Mane just felt better to me. So that would be my advice if you're looking for a Premier League attacking mid. Still, though, a good card. And don't get me wrong, I don't want to you know, put it down too much because it's a good usable item. But I just don't think it represents good value for money. So, yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please do leave a like rating on it. Any questions you've got, pop them down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you in the next one.